Welcome to Brick by Brick, a podcast produced by Move Your Mind, committed to changing the construction industry, one conversation at a time. To make long-term change in anything, education is a critical element. On today's episode, I interviewed Paul Breen, who founded the Productivity Bootcamp in 2015. It's a construction industry training organisation designed to build better lives for young Australians. They're committed to developing the practical skills and values required to succeed in life and have provided an exciting new experience in the training and employment space. They believe that we can tap into the strengths of the younger generation while still meeting industry needs. They aim to equip and upskill young people through practical, challenging, fun and hands-on activities. I hope you enjoy this interview and thank you so much to Len Lease for sponsoring this podcast. Paul, great to meet you. Thank you so much, mate, for making the time to come and have this chat today. Thank you very much, Nick. Uh, thanks for the invite. No, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. And you know, my friend uh, Paul. Uh, sorry, my friend Paul. It's, sorry, it's late here. Shows how your your Paul exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I've been living off. I, I'm working basically between um, two time zones at the moment. So sometimes my brain goes to mush. But yes, my friend Oops. Phil I Phil McCall- <laughs> McCormick showed me the work that, you, that you're doing and um yeah you know it looks really interesting and and you know really important work in this area so yeah yeah um, great results which is fantastic so yeah, yeah i guess i guess to kick this interview off would you be able to just give our listeners a background on yourself and the work that you're doing so i'm i'm, I'm a director of a company called uh, uh productivity boot camp which is um it was a gap that i've seen uh Young people come that uh, you know to, when this, when young people transition from school to work, um, to me there was a gap there to do it um, more effectively, and so what I done I created uh, an eight week um, boot camp, uh, all outdoor training because I deal with a lot of uh, young people that uh, predominantly uh, disengage from school, um, uh, but want to get into a trade. So and what what we find is a lot of young people when they leave school. They only think of three trades. They think of uh, carpentry, electrical, and plumbing. They have no idea how many other trades is out there. So, what, one of one of the things we do, we, it's all, as I said, it's all outdoor training, and so we put them through about twenty five different industries, everything from steel fixing, concrete, and formwork. You know, we we still have the carpentry, electrical, and plumbing, but landscape, and the list goes on. And um, so that's that's one side of us where we we help young people um, choose a career path that that that, that best suits them. But our main focus is, um, which which comes in line with our topic today, is uh, preparing these young people mentally and physically for uh, for any industry really that's that's uh, that, that that's that's physical because we I see that's where the the gap is broken down. Um, you know, you expected young people to come straight out of school and, and to go into a, an eight hour, ten hour working environment. It to me is is um, is madness. It's it's there's a massive there's there's, there's a lot of risk involved. And um, so, giving these young people a good taste of the real world, um, because we've a, we've a massive dropout rate in apprentice, apprenticeships, and a, a lot of it comes down to just they're not prepared, they have no idea what they're going in for. Uh, and uh, so, we break down all that, um, uh, of, you know, what these young people can expect for the first six months of their working life, because once you get them past the first six months and and well into their first year, that's when they're ready to. Um, that's when they're strong. That's so we, we yeah. So the, the, that's basically uh, a, a snapshot of what we do. Oh well, it's it's like you're saying, such an important thing. And yeah. I guess in 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 life in general, you know, we don't get education, no matter what industry you're going in, let alone yes. this industry. We don't get we don't yeah. get this education. You know, it's crazy. We don't. And and this is what employers are, are, are crying out for is just practical skills. And and and, so, and that's what we do. You know, we we. Or you know, we we don't we, we we focus on all the practical skills that's that's in these uh, various industries. So so that when these young people start their first day's work, to have, the, you know, they have a range of uh, which are typically labouring skills uh, to be able to yeah. assist tradespeople. And um, yeah, uh, and and uh, yeah, look at the the, the the whole mental side of things is um, it, uh, like mentally preparing them is is, is the big one. The, it's the mindset, the mindset of going into the, that first year of apprenticeship. So that's that's our main focus. Yeah, well, and there's quite a few questions I want to ask you related yeah. to that. But first of first of all, you know, what what are some of the pitfalls you've seen from the lack of education, and what ends up happening when they go into this industry, into the trades, not prepared? 
Well, number one is the safety factor uh, that that um, unaware of of the risks that involved with any with any industry that's physical. Just you know, just teaching these young people to to look at their environment, to, to understand the environment they're working in, and and to be able to to identify risks. So that's that's one. The, the second one is uh, um, injury prevention. When you, when you think about a young person um, leaving school that's been sitting in the classroom for years, and next thing. I don't care if they, even if they play sport, uh, work fitness is, is a complete different fitness. And so, you know, uh, if you, uh, that's a lot of what we do, we, we, t- we teach these kids how to, how to look after themselves, how to look after their backs at a young age. So it's, it's all that in, injury, injury prevention, uh, uh, nutrition to be able to, you know, for the body to be able to do a good day's work. You know, a lot of, a lot of young people now are, are they think, uh, energy drinks and, and, uh, is, is the answer to, uh, keep them going all day. But, that we just as we all know there's enough data around that that's the worst thing they can do but it's just that education and awareness uh, uh for young people so yeah i i think you know they the, the talk a lot about transition from school to work but that's a lot of that is just filling out cvs uh preparing them for an interview getting them their white card uh I, I, i'm not going to go on about it it's um it's it's a joke really i think lend lease is proudly sponsoring the brick by brick podcast They're committed to the health and safety of their people and those they work with and have been acknowledged externally for their focus on providing healthy workplaces. Lendlease is certified as a globally healthy workplace in recognition of their focus on employee health and well-being. In addition, Lendlease won the multinational employer category at the six global Healthy Workplace Awards. They have a holistic approach to health and well-being and continue to grow their focus around mental health. Lendlease genuinely care and are out there not just to make a difference in their organisation, but in construction and society as a whole. We're very proud to have Lendlease as a sponsor of the Brick by Brick podcast. I agree with you, and I think we could probably record a podcast just on that one topic. Uh, we could. And, you know, <laughs> you, you're really not prepared. And once you're out in the real world, you're sort of relearning, you're left to your own devices, you have to fall flat on your face. Hopefully, you know, yeah. you don't get in too bad of a situation before you can you know, yeah. correct things, but we don't want that to happen. That's why it's so important no. that, no. you know, you're doing what you're doing to have that yeah. education. Um, yeah. And I can imagine also once, you know, even with the education, is it difficult once they're in these different trade industries that, you know, and, and I guess I'm looking at it, you know, we're from the lens more of the mental health side from the work we're doing, but, yeah. um, you know, there's, there's such a culture in these industries where it's, you know, that sort of, you know, you just push on and, don't show yeah. weakness and, you know, you work through and, you know, you, you smoke, yeah. you drink, you, you go to the pub yeah. after work. And it must be, yeah. even with the education, difficult to prepare them to be true to themselves, I guess, in that environment. And that's a very um, uh, strong point. But it, look, it is, it, the, the industry is what it is. Um, but yeah. I, there, there's, there's big changes coming and you can see that happening gradually. And, and yeah. And especially with the, with the young generation coming, uh, coming through, like the, they're not going to fall into that trap. Um, um, and, and so I think, I think companies are going to be forced to, to, to change that culture, um, uh, rapidly. Cause if they want to engage with young people and, and encourage young people to go into the industry and particularly women, um, I, I think, I think they, have, they need to start making changes drastically. And, and there is, there's, there's, there's companies out there that, that are making big changes. Uh, particularly the tier ones, but you know they have the capacity to make change. But um, uh, I, I can see it. Um, I can see it roller coaster very, very fast. It's a slow burn right there, right now. But I think mm-hmm. the, the, you know what you're doing, lifting the awareness, uh, and and more of that is it, it does a lot more of it now than than there was five years ago. Say, so it's it's not yep. taboo anymore. Mental health. Um, young people are 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 open to talk about it, and um. So yeah, I I, it, I I think there's no point in uh, you can't teach an, an old dog new tricks, but um, uh, I think early education and 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 you know things like what I'm doing and is 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 the starting point. So yeah, I I, I, I there's big changes coming. I can I can see them. I can I can see them every day. So it's, well, it's that's great. The industry, yeah, yeah, very yeah, very encouraging to hear. Like you're saying and. And it's an industry that really needs that change, and it's just not sustainable it how it's been. You know, like it's you're saying as well. With is. no, no, yep, no. The other thing I see as well is 
I, I, I go to um, Bama uh, every three years to the construction show that, and it, it would blow your mind the technology that's coming uh, to construction. And so if you look at the concrete game as a great example, you know, the years mm. ago that was considered a very hard industry. Uh, it, it's not anymore because of the, 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 the machines is out there now to, to do the heavy lifting. So mm -hmm. uh, all that is going to add uh, to the stress on people's mind and body um, mm -hmm. that construction typically was with, with all this new innovation that's coming, coming now. So that factor and the, the, the awareness of mental health. And, um, you know, I like this idea, too, of this of this four and a half day work week. I think I, th I think it's important that we stop these Saturdays, especially for family, fam uh, people with families. You know, young people are different. They want to work Saturday, let them. But, I think it's important that we that we start implementing that, and there is some companies already doing that. So, yeah, that's another really important point. We've heard a lot about that, and I mean, it's because yeah. it's traditionally been what accepted that yeah. you do oh, a six a, day it's, week it's, and it's a six day it's, week. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's, it's not. Crazy. It doesn't sound sustainable. Like, how can you have a ba and and you know, a lot of the time, and I've spoken to a lot of people in this industry where you know they've traditionally worked what. 12, 16 hours a day, six days a week. How yeah. can you have a life outside of that? And also, like you're talking about, you know, you're preparing people to have longevity and look after themselves yeah. in this industry. How, how can you actually do that for 10, 20, 30 years if you're not yeah. taking some of the measures that you're talking about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it's massive stress. It is. It is. And I think, you know, I just accepted it. it that, that's what it was. But uh, you can see today that people are, people are not going to accept it. And uh, that's why change has to happen. And it will happen. It's happened. It yes. Is, it's going um, in that direction. What were some of the implications that you, that you found? What were some of the sort of side effects or challenges you faced by not having the education that you're now offering to other people? And, you know, yeah, how difficult was that on both a physical mental and you know i guess social level for for you um w one thing that really stands out uh you know i i have back trouble now and and if i had that education uh when i was very very young to um to understand that not be complacent with your back and and uh, do you know do the right things from a young age i wouldn't be suffering like i am now um I, I can't. If for, for me, it was the norm just to just to work uh, uh, five and a half, half days. But now, I, I only work um, uh, four and a half days myself, and mm -hmm. and you know, I, I find it a massive difference to myself and to my own well being and um, and to my own uh, state of mind uh, to to be taking that day off, uh, you know, for myself. So, uh, yeah, look, it 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 obviously had a lot of. Uh, Stress, but I, I didn't know any different. You know what I mean? I can't. Yeah. I wasn't making any. I can't really yeah. remember how it affects me. Oh, well, I mean, I think, yeah, and I think the best change comes from, you know, people like yourself where you're you're not just doing it for the sake of it. You've had that first hand experience. So you I know. First hand experience, you, yeah. Yeah. You can see the holes yeah. in the system. You can see, you know, yeah. after having years on the ground where, where it can yeah. be improved. So. Yeah, I think it's yeah. so, so important that we have more people like you doing that kind of work. That's how and there is. proper change and happens. There is. Yeah, it is, which is it fantastic. Is. Um, oh. I guess, so our podcast is focused more on the mental health side of things. Yeah. From your experience, how big of an issue is that in this industry? It's it's massive. Um, you know, it, 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 you, you, you wouldn't go a day going through your LinkedIn feed or Facebook feed that there's something about mental health it was a story from somewhere. So, and it's great that it's all coming to the surface, but um, uh, it, 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 it's, it's a major problem, but, but it's, it's, it's getting better. You know, there's no point in that. There's a lot of things happening out there to improve it. Uh, you know, the day, are you okay there? You know, that's been implemented now. Um, you know, you have mates in construction uh, doing regular visits to sites now to help uh, to educate people. So there's, there's lots happening. To, one of the biggest things uh, I see uh, that I'm witnessing in boot camp is, uh, so I train a good mix of men and women uh, in, in my boot camp. And I'm noticing that having a good mix of women in the, in, in the crews um, is, is bringing a whole different energy to, 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 the, to, to, the, to the construction industry. And, you know, you, you, I can see that 
uh, side shed banter is starting to disappear because of you know having respect around around women. Um, women are more inclined to ask to ask the man, you know, um, how's things at home or you know how are you doing? And, and so I'm really encouraging. Uh, it's what we do a lot. We we train we train men and women together, uh, and we we train them how to you know to have the the, the different respect for each other, um, identify strengths and weaknesses, uh, so to work effectively as a team and. Uh, I, and I'm seeing serious results, even now, even though I'm seeing, uh, I'm talking about young people, but mm -hmm. it, uh, it, it, uh, the, I think the more and more women we can get into the construction industry, I think it's going to make it a, a very enjoyable place to work. And and um, I, I, yeah, that's that, that's one of my recommendations to um, to really reduce start re re reducing mental health in the, in the industry. And so I'm, I'm yeah. heavily promoting that. Yeah, I'm heavily promoting. Oh, that. I think it's a gr it's great to have the mix. Thank you so much for supporting Move Your Mind. We're expanding the offerings of the organization and we're tailoring everything we do to suit you guys and to try and answer to all of your needs and the questions that you send in. The book is available globally. You can find all of the links at nickbrax.com slash book. And we've just released the Move Your Mind community. We've currently got a men's community group, a women's community group, a general group. We're gonna be lo loading up other groups and you can find all of the links at moveyourmind.me. This group's been created based on the needs of what we've heard and learnt throughout running Move Your Mind. And we have live events, we've got courses, we've got huge amounts of value, the ability to share information, share ideas, work in groups together to, to grow and share your learnings, to learn about different topics. You get email reminders. There's a whole lot of features in there. We're constantly updating it and we're so excited to share it with you. You can find all of the information about it at moveyourmind.me. Yeah, I think that's um, yeah, super interesting to hear. And, and I guess like it's been traditionally, I think, 90% male dominated yeah. industry or whatever the statistic is. And yeah. there is, it sounds like that is gradually changing now. And there's a lot more talk about females entering the industry. So that's fantastic. Cause I think it's yeah. it, like you're saying, that's really important. And it's something, I think it's such a diverse industry where there's also probably a stigma with the industry that only a certain, you know, personality type or demographic might want to get involved when the reality is there's so this can you know be such a great um career choice for so many different people yeah. across the board and i think there's that sort of publicity or you know yeah. messaging understanding education like what you're doing to help that people understand that yeah and, and again it's it's educating people to the innovation that's coming to the industry when you when you see the amount of work you can do now on a on a on a on a, on a device on a laptop you know you can drive a machine from a laptop now you know what i mean and and uh and that's where the young generation are going to are going to be really strong and uh but that's you know that doesn't matter uh yeah male or female do you know what i mean and, and so yeah I, I i think uh you know it definitely 10 years ago the, the 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 industry wasn't very attractive to women but now now i think it's more and more attractive with what's coming and um yeah i'm, I'm excited i i see i see big change coming that's great. Yeah, no, really good to hear. So um, we we finish up with five closing questions. Before yeah. I go into that, I just wanted to ask you, um, you know, on, on a personal level, what are some of the things you you do, you know, in your life to just manage your physical, mental health, keep balance, I guess, with work and, and, and life? Uh, are, are there certain things that you do yourself that, that our listeners could, you know, maybe take something well, away from? Look, at, uh, as I'm, I'm, I'm a director of a few companies, uh, so I have a lot on. Yep. But I've I've just met it. Um, I, I've just I've just stopped working on a Friday, and I, and you know I'm I'm a family man, and I, uh, and you can imagine like all families have I'm sports all day Saturday, and then Sundays with the family. But then Friday is me. I, I take time for myself, and um, since I started doing that, uh, uh, ever a, a lot, I'm getting more work done. Um, I'm I'm well prepared for the for the for the so you know if directors out there there's some managing companies if you can take that time out because we, we we get bogged down so much on on, on everyday things and and uh, I I felt since I started doing this I'm able to get get away from the the ground and just uh, clear my head and um, just get ready for next week do you know what I mean so that's that, that's one recommendation I I I, I say to people if if they can if they can do it. Well, I think it's a really important recommendation and, you know, it's the kind of thing where 
some people might not be able to take a full day off, but they can do a version of that. You know, if they, yeah. you know, at, at the end of the day, just having, because a lot of us don't do this anymore because we're either no. at work or we're glued to a screen or we're, you know, whatever. Yeah. If you can just have time set aside for yourself, it makes yes. an enormous difference. It's so important. It does. And it doesn't have to be a full day, just a half a day. You know, I still answer the phones. I still answer emails. But yeah. um, I, I, I'm physically re- resting myself, you know what I mean? So that's uh yeah i can't recommend that enough i love that one yeah well i'm going to go into these five questions to finish up these can be sort of whatever answer comes to mind hopefully won't throw you too too far under the bus here they're not too crazy the questions (laughs) but um the the first one is um what's your best childhood memory that comes to mind jesus um my best childhood memory (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> You've got to give me the heads up on this one, Rick. Um, yeah, Jesus. Uh, or one of one of the one childhood, yeah, one 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 of the best ones, or one that comes one, up. Ah, uh, Jesus, you know, nothing's not coming up, Nick. Um, that's a, that's not a good sign, is it? Um, <laughs> Jesus, uh, you caught me, Nick. <laughs> I actually, kind of. Uh, Wake um, up. Go on. We can move I'll on go to, back to that question. Move on to the next one. We'll move on to the that. next I'll one. Last one. I'll make that my last one. If it, exactly. We'll come back to that one. So, so next one is: What do you think is one of the biggest impacts um, on mental health in the construction industry? What do you think is sort of the the biggest cause of that, or one of the biggest causes? Uh, long hours, obviously, like we spoke about. Um, yep. uh, men, men not uh, afraid to, to, to open up about it uh, because they feel they have to be the strong, strong person all the time. And uh, I think that's starting to disappear now. But that's that, that I, I think if, if uh, that's that's but that, that would I put that at number one. Um, yep. And and then the, the, the long hours. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's yeah, pretty that's come up quite a bit. You know, these points that you're saying. So, yeah, it's um, yeah. Yeah. Important that it changes. Um, yeah. What's your? What would you say is your personal definition of happiness? Content. <laughs> yeah. Content uh, is um, to just just to be aware of the of, of of the moment you're in, and 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 you know that you're you have your health and uh, your family is 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 well. Um, uh, and, yeah, contentment. That's that's my yeah. view, of which which I am. Love that. What do you think is the most positive thing about about this industry? Uh, I I think the 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 change in in the the, the innovation is coming. Uh, the the industry is is getting uh, is is getting very interesting, and um, and and more and more women coming coming into the to the industry. That's that they're the two biggest changes uh, uh, I see. Um, there's 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 a there's a man that I follow, uh, John Davis, uh, from from the CEO of ACA, and when when you look at what he's recommending for the changes in the industry, like he he he's hit the nail in the head, and mm-hmm. I think if we can follow his recommendations, uh, it'll be a great industry to work in. Yeah, fantastic. I'll have to I'll have to look him up. Look him um, up, yeah. So final one here. Um, what are you most proud of? Most proud of um, I, I, boot camp. Um, I, I started it eight years ago, and um, and I have four boot camps in in in, in western in western Sydney, and uh, I'm now starting to move move into other states. And I'm 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 very proud of how that it, it took a lot of hard work. Uh, it took me eight years really to to really re- refine it and, and get it to where it is today, and I, I'm very proud of that because I I see. When you see the difference I make in these young people's lives, and and have parents, whenever we have a graduation, I have parents coming up, often crying about the changes that we brought to their son and daughter. That's that's touching. And I, I'm very proud of. It. I, I love graduation because you, you get to see the the real results in the when the when their kids um, get their certification and their parents are there to um, witness it. So that's that's my number one. Oh, that's yeah. amazing, mate! And. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, amazing thing to witness and to be facilitating, you know, being part of that change. So yeah. look, really appreciate you making the time to, to have this chat today. And no worries. Um, I'm sure our, our listeners will take a huge amount out of it. Hope so. Um, okay. Oh, final, 
final question um where can our listeners go if they want to learn if they want to learn more about 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 your company and our website our website um www.productivitybootcamp.com.au okay so for anyone listening that that will be in the show notes so make sure to check it out and and yeah. paul thank you again for making the time no i appreciate no. it thank you very much all the best you mate. bye thanks so much Thanks to Paul Brain for joining me today for Brick by Brick. 